gentlemen, it's come to my attention that Mike Myers has just released The Pentaverate, his new Netflix show where he plays a cast of colorful characters in prosthetics and funny accents. As well, the original Austin Powers film has recently celebrated its 25th anniversary, thereby putting it close to the 30-year nostalgia cycle. Here's the plan. We take his hot new Netflix buzz, aggressively target the millennials that still have disposable income, and greenlight an Austin Powers sequel. <clears throat> Don't you think you're overestimating how much appeal Mike Myers still has with audiences? He's not the hot commodity he was back in the 90s. I mean, his last lead role on camera was The Love Guru back in 2008, and audiences hated it. Really? Mm-hmm. That was a real stinker. Okay, but this Netflix thing he's got going is going to boost his Q rating or whatever, right? It, that's got to be worth something. Well, unfortunately, the Pentaverd has been something of a critical failure. So far, only earning a 22% freshness rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It also hasn't cracked the Netflix top 10 for most English-speaking territories. It, the only market where it has is Canada, and largely only because of their nationalistic attachment to Myers. R really? Only Canada? Those sad bastards. Yes, it's almost assuredly getting cancelled. Wait, but what about the Zoomers? I I I've seen the Shrek memes. He he's still got Paul. Why aren't they well, watching? Well, the thing about that is that Shrek as a franchise is a Shrek franchise, not a Mike Myers franchise. Y you see, the audience comes out to see Shrek, the big green ogre who wants you to get out of his swamp. They're not coming out to see Mike Myers, a man in his 50s wearing spirit gum and latex on his face playing five different characters. It's a crucial distinction. Also, the last Shrek movie came out like 12 years ago. The memes are just Zoomers doing post-ironic shitposting. What the frick is post-ironic shitposting? Okay, boomer. That doesn't even have anything to do with it. Okay, all right, ne never mind. So the Pentaverts are busted, we don't have the Shrek kids, but we still got the 30-year nostalgia cycle. That's always a hot money maker. Normally, yes. The 80s resurgence we saw throughout the 2010s was a good indicator of that. Yeah, the kids went freaking crazy for Stranger Things. It's amazing. Yes, well, the issue, though, is that Austin Powers is already in and of itself a product of that same cycle. A Gen X throwback to the stuff their boomer parents liked. What you're asking Zoomers to engage in is not a 30-year cycle, but a 60-year cycle. Think of it this way. Millennials lost their minds over that 70s show. A 2000s throwback to the 1970s. But when's the last time you heard a millennial talking about happy days, a 70s throwback to the 1950s? Yeah, like all the jokes were about like riffing on old Sean Connery, James Bond movies. It, it, Zoomers don't know about Connery Bond. They know Daniel Craig Bond. And Craig Bond was the response to the Austin Powers movies clowning on classic Bond. They had to go all Jason Bourne serious and ditch the goofy gadgets. And Craig's retiring his Bond anyway, so how are they supposed to even do current Bond jokes? Scotty, no one asked you. Go back to playing with your crypto chimps or whatever. They're the Bored Ape Yacht Club! I'm gonna be a millionaire off of mine someday! Fuck you, Dad! Yes, love you too, son. So we got frickin' nothing to work with? Unfortunately, yes. Do we still have many me audiences loved him? Vern Troyer has been dead for four years. Shit!